with Sam. I'm here with Jess, my beautiful wife. She's behind the camera. She didn't want to be introduced yet because she's still a little bit hungry. But we just arrived at Publix. We're doing a little bit of a different video today. We, I saw this jar of coins that we have in our kitchen and I decided to grab it, cash it out, see what we can get for it. And we are gonna buy our materials for our catch, clean, and cook at Publix. Not sure what we're going after, but we have our pompano jigs and our smaller jigs, probably snapper or something. But we're going to try and see what we get. Let's get at it. We're going to take 10 percent of it. It was roughly 39 and change. We got 35 back after a massive tax deduction. But that's what we have to work with. And let's see if we can get this done. 35 bucks. Easy light bag charcoal. 379. Just like the bag. Get a little thing of which one just light or robust? Robust. Robust it is. 249. Extra virgin olive oil. Just in case we do get something, we can coat it for the grill. We have seasoning. What else? So we found some plantain chips. These are pretty good. Garlic, $2.99. Jessica. She is somewhere, I believe she's ordering a small sub for the road. She's a little cranky at the moment, so I tried filming her and she was not having it. Not until she gets food. So we'll see her in a little bit. Look at her looking at me. Reese's for my massive sweet tooth budget total was 24.35 we had 35 dollars left let's see what we got a 10 pound bag of ice 199 we got plantain chips right here 199 Jessica's pub sub she had to get I'm gonna eat half of it anyway 699 lunchable snacks for her just in case we don't catch anything that was. 50. Kingsford charcoal, 639. Not gonna lie, guys, I don't know how this is gonna go. I'm not a charcoal kind of guy, but we'll give it a try. And then the extra virgin olive oil to coat the fish if we do get it. That was, let me see, let me see. $2.49. Got a Reese's for my sweet tooth because I have to have my sweets. I'm like a little kid. Which that was $1.99 and a big bite of it equals a dollar. Let's see how it goes. It's pretty cool.
Well, we've made it to our location. Beautiful day so far. Beach looks really good. Jess is in a little better mood now. So she's willing to be introduced. Everybody. I talk about her all the time on my channel. My wife, Jessica. You've never seen her because she just had the baby. She hasn't been feeling to par. She's actually one of my best fishing buddies. We actually started out. Fun fact, those of you who know me know where I'm at right now. This is where we got engaged. And with that, I'm gonna introduce to you my beautiful wife, Jessica, hi AKA guys. Mama Shark. <laughs> Mama Say hi Shark. to YouTube. Hi. So, Jessica, do you remember it two years ago? Uh-huh. Two years ago, we two got engaged. Yesterday, two years ago, we got engaged on this very spot, literally right there, right where the waves are crashing on the sand. That's where this beauty said yes forever to the day we die. That's where it all started, right here. All right, enough of that. Uh, I'm not trying to get cheesy. It's getting dusty out here. So, we're gonna try and get some pompano, right? Yeah. Looks like pompano surf out there, it looks good. Hopefully, Hopefully. we'll Hopefully. see. We got the, uh, the old fishing wagon, show it to you guys. Got our Yeti, got our towels, our little charcoal grill, our rods, and mama. Let's see what happens, can't wait. All right, boys and girls, I am going to be tossing a little wacky rig style pompano jig with one of my own personal teasers that I tie. It's got the pink with the little uh, silver, I guess gray in the middle, free floating. I'm on a eight pound, my ultralight, my eight pound rig, eight pound braid on a Seven foot G Loomis medium action and I have 15 pound leader. Mama Shark, what are you gonna be tossing? What do you got? I have. What's that? It is a shrimp scented bolt lure with a red jig and a 30 pound liter. 30 pound braid mainline? Yep. All right, let's see. She's going for snook or pompano. I'm mainly going for pompano, so we'll see. <laughs> We're getting beat up, so we'll get it. bit of a midday update for you guys I uh, we got here I was tossing the jig for about an hour 15 minutes maybe Jess was in for about five ten minutes and she was over it she had it she had a nice little hit I had a couple little taps but I think they're pinfish nothing yet grab a little snack get my Reese's and rest for a little bit and then we'll be back I have to uh, do a little recap here on my midday update. Apparently, just recap didn't like <laughs> my uh, time frame. So, no. Jess, I was in the water for an hour, not five to ten minutes. Seemed like fifteen minutes. Yeah, a Sam fifteen minutes. I was in there listen, actually listen, an hour. Listen, when you're fishing, it, there's listen, no time. <laughs> so yeah, it was an hour. Anyways. So I decided to lay out in the rain. It's not It's not raining. It's raining. It's not raining. It's sprinkling. It's starting to drizzle just a little bit. Listen, to say that we're working for this fish, 
a little harder than I usually do is definitely an <laughs> understatement. <laughs> However, we are having a really good time out here on Captiva. Check it out, guys. A little bit of an overcast day today, but it's a beautiful day. Beautiful, beautiful day. Gotta love it. Yesterday we had to leave a little early because the baby needed mama apparently so we're back out here this time we're going to the lighthouse uh, the lighthouse beach in Sanibel we stopped at a local tackle shop to pick up some more jigs and to see what they had and this time I let Jessica pick so if we don't catch any fish Jess it's your fault hey no just kidding <laughs> no but she did pick them out and she did very well we got these three gotcha, gotcha. They're three fourth ounce jigs. I don't know if you guys can see them. She picked out the pink with the glitter pattern. She picked out two of them. And a chartreuse with a glitter pattern as well. She also picked out, which I was very proud of her. I told her. There might be tarpon rolling, which actually one's on right now. He's on right there. See him? There you go. Look at that. Speak of the devil. But anyways, that's a good sign. Being that there's tarpon in the area, Jessica picked out this DOA bait buster to toss on the beach as well. She figured it looks like the green back pattern and the big thread fins we have so good job babe. we'll Thanks. see what happens what do you think we're gonna get just i'm hoping to get some pompano. pompano i just really like pompano we're trying trying to do this pompano so we can grill it on the beach for you guys to to see how it tastes so we'll get at you when we're there Nice snook bait. First fish of the day. Little lizard fish. Smoked the uh, chartreuse and silver pattern jig. There you go. And a nice ladyfish. Yeah, if I was trying to catch snook today, it'd be great. Great bait. Beautiful bait. She goes. What is it? What are you? What are you? Oh, Blue Runner. Alright, well, nine lizard fish, one lady, and one blue runner. Still no pompano. We're trying though. We're giving it hell. Alright, new species squirrel fish another awesome bait fish I like to use these offshore for grouper you get one of these put it on a six ounce jig bucktail butterfly better hold on 
There's the famous Sanibel Lighthouse right there. Well-known landmark. Alrighty guys, third day, third spot. First two days, couldn't make it happen. First day we had to leave early because the baby. Second day just wasn't happening. Kept catching a bunch of trash fish, a bunch of lizards and ladyfish and bluefish. But we're here, Captiva now, Blind Pass. And there's a bunch of pelicans diving way out there. That boat, as we were coming over the bridge, we saw like three pods of tarpon smashing bait. So I don't know. I'm not sure how it's going to be. It's a beautiful day though. We still got the same setups. We got the uh, gotcha plugs, the green the chartreuse, and the bait buster. Have our charcoal grill just in case. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, so apparently there's a big old school of rays out there that I hooked into. Just dropped it. There we go. I think there's a big school of rays I just hooked into. Oh, broke my lure. Damn it. There we go. Hooked on. Hooked on. I think it's a school of cow nose rays again that came by. Just dragging me down the beach. Yeah, I think I picked up one of them cow nose rays. Yeah. Yeah, there she is. You guys can see it. Yeah, it's about average size right here. We use them for Jewfish and shark bait. Right, and my son takes it and he just tries to snag them, and then he can sit in his kayak and just hold on, <laughs> yeah. and they pull him around. Yeah. There we go. There it is, boys and girls. Cow nose ray. Just like that jig came off. Alright, 
like I said, I caught him on that gotcha. I actually snagged him. I saw a bunch. I tossed it. But, if you look at my hook, damn near lost him. Pretty cool. Light line. It's fun. Let him go to swim for another day. There's Mama Shark bathing in the sun instead of fishing. Whatever. She tans, I fish. It's a win win. Alright, so apparently I just hooked another ray. Swam right into my jig. He doesn't know he's hooked yet because he hadn't started running, but. Lighting the drag. There you go. There you go. Good Lord. He's way out there. See if I can get in the water, gain a little bit of line back. Whew, he's not happy, he's just going. I'm on my backing. Oh, come on. Nope, didn't like that. Oof, the reel's getting hot. He is way out there. I think it was a ray. I don't know. I sure didn't toss it on any rays, but... I saw a ray swim by and then my rod went off. Ah, oh, come on, come on. I'm like, I have like 10 foot of line left. If I can turn him without pissing him off. Oh my god, he's gonna spool me. He's gonna spool me, guys. Whatever this fish is. Oh my god. Come on, let me get three cranks on you and turn you, please. Please, 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 please. Don't do it, don't do it. All right, I'm turning him. He's not coming in yet, but he turned. Whew. Wow, my spool is hot from that run that he just did. Come on, come on. Come on. Please, please, please. Please. Ah, oh, come on. Can't do anything else, guys. I am almost nipple deep in the water. As you can see, I'm cupping the line just to get him from popping me. I'm trying to walk backwards to see if I can gain it. Oh, he does not like that. My rod is doubled over. I'm on eight pound braid right now. 15 pound leader. 
on a jig a little pompano jig with one of my hand tied teasers and I can't turn this beast whatever it is my god he's not hugging the floor he's just heavy he's dogging me No, 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 no. Oh, he does not like that. I don't know if he's a ray or not. Arm starting to burn. But as long as my line doesn't pop, I'll hold on to him. Come on, please, please, please let me turn you. Oh, I keep getting this cat and mouse game. Something. Jeez. You guys, big school of rays just passed right by me. Scared the hell out of me. Yeah, cat and mouse game. I gain an inch, he takes a foot of line. I'm trying to. I'm trying not to piss him off too much. He does not want to turn. Right now, he's literally just walking down the beach with me. That's all I'm doing is walking him. He can pop me at any moment. I'm at his mercy right now. Nope, nope, nope. I'm literally holding the spool so he does not take my line. Yep, he just surfaced way out there. I don't know what the hell it is. Oh man. Of course it hits me on my ultralight, not on my 20 pound rig. I know I can just feel his head just slowly dogging me. He's just, he's just moving, not running. He's just pulling all his weight against me, trying to pop me. Here we go. Nope, 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 nope. Every time I think I'm gonna turn him, piss him off and he starts dogging. Come on. Now I just want to see what the hell I have. I don't even know what it is. What are you? Oh, looks like a monster ray out there. He just flapped. Yep, it's a stingray. Oh, well, I saw it. Now I just want to get my line back. I don't want him to take all this line. Come on, big guy. Just turn. Turn, please. He is way the hell out there. Alright, what I'm doing guys is I'm basically cupping the spool trying to carefully drag him five to ten feet reeling down on my slack and running back in it's the only way I'm gaining on this beast I want to rush it too much like I said I have super super light line eight pound braid 15 pound fluoro leader it's my ultra light rig Use it for pompano on the surf. And I hooked into a big ray. Got a 
God, this bull is so hot right now. Oh, man. Please don't. This rod is completely doubled over. I can honestly say I've never put so much heat on this setup. And it's holding. I like it. Wow, he is way out there, guys. Oof. Don't do it, don't do it. Ah, he's trying to run. He's trying to dog me. Chase. Well, I guess that answers my question. I was wondering if I should re-spool this reel or not because it was looking a little low online. There you go. I could have had at least 100 more yards of line on this reel. But that's what happens when you're lazy. Oh, there she goes. Spooled me. There you go. Ah, oh, that sucks. All right, let me explain to you guys what just happened. I just got my butt kicked by a massive ray. Um, I'm here tossing on the surf right here about, I'd say 20 foot in, looking for Pompano on my Daiwa BG2000 right here. Decent little reel, it's my ultralight. Just couldn't stop it. Couldn't stop it, couldn't stop it. Then all, as I was fighting it, I saw it flap, so I, I knew it was a ray then because I saw its flaps, but there's wings, I should say. But yeah, guys, I was, I was nipple deep in the water, just holding the reel down, just the spool. As you guys saw three, four times I was at the end. I was on the knot. Just trying to hold it. Kept dogging me, dogging me. I didn't I didn't force him, I didn't do anything wrong. It's just I guess he caught a wind and took off. Busted me off and now I have no line. So now I have an excuse to go get brand new line. But yeah. Happens. You win some, you lose some. Today. I got spanked. Well, we never did get those pompano we were looking for, no. or anything to grill. That's okay. It's all right. Mama got her tan on. I tried. She's looking cute, pink. Red. Red. <laughs> uh, I hooked into those two. Actually, I caught the one. I caught the one uh, cow nose. And then the one before that I broke off. And then that last one that just took me to town. It Might schooled me. Might as well have me. just taken the rod and walked away. All <laughs> right. Might as well just <laughs> taken everything. But we had a really good time. Um, yeah, like I said, it's a little different video. I just wanted you guys to, to finally meet my beautiful wife. The one I'm always talking about. And to see just a couple days in our life just how we are when we go out beach days fishing just hanging out to our mothers mom andrea thank you very much for watching the baby we couldn't have done it without you guys thank you thank you thank you we love you guys and we will pay back whatever you guys need whenever 
But that was it. Jessica, any last words? Thanks for having us. Thanks for watching. Like always, like, subscribe. And hopefully you guys like this video. Let me know if, you know in the comments below if you guys liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Shoot me a comment what you guys like to see next and we'll work on it. As always, God bless. Take care.